Hey there everyone, welcome to Technesia. In this video, I am going to show you how to generate a forecast model in Excel. For example, this is the monthly revenue for a company from January 2021 to June 2023. And in Excel, I will show you how to generate a forecast for this for the next 12 months. That is, the blue section shows the revenue and the orange is the forecast generated in Excel. Let's get to it. Here is the revenue of a company from January 2021 to June 2023. Let's first plot this chart. Let's select the data, go to the insert and let's plot a 2D line chart. Let me just increase the size and let's name this monthly revenue. Let's say that now we want to forecast the future months based on this data. Doing that is really simple in Excel. All we need to do is click anywhere within the data and then go to the data option in the ribbon. And here in the forecast section, you'll have what if analysis and beside it will be forecast sheet. So just click it and a window is going to open which is going to show the current revenue and also the forecast with both lower confidence and upper confidence bound based on our data. You can also tweak the parameters. So let's click the options. We can also select when we want to end the forecast. So let's say that I want to do it for one year. So let's pick June 2024 and the start date is currently the end date in the data. You can also select the confidence interval which means the actual data is going to have a 95% chance to be between the lower confidence bound and the upper confidence bound of the forecast. There's also seasonality, which either can be detected automatically or you can also set manually. Since ours is a yearly data, it has not detected the trend. So we can select it manually to 12 as it's a monthly forecast and that will give us a more accurate forecast model. And that's it. If you are happy with this, you can say create and in a new sheet, it's going to create blue is the revenue and orange is the forecast generated by Excel. And the table on the left shows the different data point where column B is our actual data and column C, D and E are the ones generated by Excel. You can also try to see how accurate your forecast is by changing the start date. So let's go to the data again and let's generate another forecast. So I'm going to do the data ribbon, go to the forecast sheet, let's select options and the start date instead of June 2023, let's pick April 30th. And let's again change the seasonality to 12 and say create. There. You can see that our forecast is starting a little before and our actual data is very close to the forecast. Forecasts are really powerful as they can be very insightful. Generating them is really simple in Excel. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.